to change the setup of the altar now and I remove the water and the jugs that I used to make lustral water and also the verbena leaves and I'll just leave SES candle because well it's supposed to be on the altar and it's, uh, it's a good place for it, I'll just leave it at that. After that you need a bowl, I use a um, sacrificial bowl for this that I use for everything else as well. This is a um, clay bowl I think which is fire resistant which is good or it's fireproof, not resistant, fireproof because uh, because I um, always burn my libations and actually all sacrifices including libations should be done outside but um, my house is about three meters from a very busy road which means that if I dress like this and stand outside in my garden and make fire in a bowl and pour wine into it my neighbors will think I'm nuts which is fine and I do actually um, burn things outside for the dive for example but for daily rituals because I do this in the morning and in the evening in a smaller scale I have to admit but I'm doing it the um, festival way for you guys I don't think they would my neighbors would appreciate it if I did that outside and I severely doubt my girlfriend would um, do so either so that is why I perform my sacrifices indoors, including my libations, and I use fire because that way it at least rises up and has a chance to reach the gods that I'm trying to um, offer this sacrifice to. So what you need besides your sacrificial bowl is a little bowl. And this little bowl will be used to actually pour the libation. Then you need something which you are going to sacrifice, which in this case is wine, which I will pour into here. And I'm going to make a um, small sacrifice. I'm just going to offer to Estia, just to give you the general idea of how this works. Um, and I make my fires, at least indoors, with ethanol, which is a um, highly inflammatory um, liquid, like gasoline, basically. But it burns um, without leaving a smell, and that is something that is pretty important for me. And it burns very easily and without smoke, and especially the smoke part, my girlfriend's very happy about. So this is something that works for me, you may pick something else that is really fine. You can also pour the libation into the bowl and be done with it, that can be the end of it. It's the, ma it's the act of giving that really matters. So um, I have prepared this. We come to the actual libation at hand. I have here a little box with um, barley seeds in them, barley grains in them. Um, Greek ritual has a couple of um, steps that you are required to take. First is, pro is a pro procession, and the procession means that, especially indoors, you take a step back, you contemplate what you're going to do, then you step forward, just so that you are in a mental headspace to perform this. In ancient Greece, the procession could mean that you walked from Athens to, to Mount Olympia, for example, or from a gathering place outside of the city walls to the temple of Athena. Um, it was done just to get in that right mindset of we are doing something ritualistic, we are doing something important to one of the gods. So I'm going to take a step back, I hope I stay inside of the frame, if I don't I will be back. So I'm stepping back and I take a moment to collect myself, think about Estia, think about what she means to me. Then I take my step forward and I offer these grains onto the altar. You can spread them actually on the altar but I usually scatter them in the bowl. Bali is a um, purifier. For example, in animal sacrifice, the ritual knife was hidden in a, a basket of barley. And we offer it now just to clear the space some more. Um, 
and prepare it for a visit of the gods. So you can put that away. Then it is simply a matter of um, lighting your fire. I use a simple match to guess this fire. Let it burn. And I light my fire, which burns really nicely and also for a little while, which is good. Then I summon Estia. For this I'm going to use um, one of the hymns that is uh, known and it's a hymn to Estia, um, which goes, um, Goddess Estia, you who tend to the holy house of the Lord Apollo, the far shooter at goodly Pytho, with soft oil dripping ever from your locks, come now into this house, come being of one mind with Zeus the all wise, come forth and above all bestow grace upon my song. After that you can um, assume that Estia is listening. Oh, the wine, by the way, you hold in your right hand when you present it to the gods, just so that they know that this is something sacred and that is going to be part of the ritual. Then you move it to your left hand and you sacrifice it into the fire, which will probably go out now because I used a little too much, but it is fine because it burns a little. And this first part is always Estia, your first libation. And after that, you can use another hymn, a hymn to um, bring forth another god, offer to them. And in the end, you sacrifice Estia again, because she gets the first and the last sacrifice. And when you're done, when you've said all your hymns and you've made all your libations, you can drink what remains in the bowl, which is quite a lot now, so um, <laughs> sorry. put this away um, and the hands up I've done it a bit like this now but you're supposed to put your hands up the whole way but I think that um, right now would cover my face so that's why I did this in Anismus you don't kneel you don't um, present yourself as submissive to the gods you raise your hands in praise of them and you invite them to come to you and send your libation or sacrifice up to them. So that is the basic premise of uh, Ellenismus uh, when it comes to cleansing and when it comes to sacrifice. I have split this into two parts. So you're getting the um, Gehenips first and the libation second. And when I think of um, another sacrifice or another practice to show you, I will. Thank you for watching.